the European Union and United Nations also voiced alarm at U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem and its repercussions for any chances of reviving Israel-Palestinian peacemaking. Major U.S. allies came out against Trump's reversal of decades of U.S. and international policy on Jerusalem. France rejected the unilateral decision while appealing for calm in the region. Britain said the move would not help peace efforts and Jerusalem should ultimately be shared by Israel and a future Palestinian state. Germany said Jerusalem's status could only be resolved on the basis of a two-state solution. Israel, by contrast, applauded Trump's move. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in a pre-recorded video message on Wednesday that it was an important step towards peace and it was our goal from Israel's first day. He added that any peace deal with the Palestinians would have to include Jerusalem as Israel's capital and he urged other countries to follow Trump's example. Trump reversed decades of US policy in recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital in defiance of warnings from around the world that the gesture risks creating aggravating conflict in a chronically volatile Middle East. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, in a pre-recorded speech, said Jerusalem was the eternal capital of the state of Palestine and that Trump's move was tantamount to the United States abdicating its role as a peace mediator. The last round of fitful peace negotiations brokered by Washington collapsed in 2014. The Palestinian Islamist group Hamas, which had dominated Gaza since soon after Israel ended a 38-year occupation of it in 2005, said Trump had committed a flagrant aggression against the Palestinian people. Hamas urged Arabs and Muslims to undermine U.S. interests in the region and to shun Israel. Egypt which forged the first Arab peace deal with Israel in 1979, rejected Trump's decision and said it did not change Jerusalem's disputed legal status. Jordan, the second Arab state to make peace with Israel, in 19